Hi, I'm Bobby Nixon-Peterson, PGA professional and certified instructor here at the Jim McLean Golf School at Trump National in Doral, Miami, Florida. Today I want to explain to you how to hit a good bunker shot and how to help you get out of a bunker every time. I've seen a lot of stuff out there about how to hit bunker shots. And when I came here to the golf school, Jim ended up teaching me a system and a method of how to get out of a bunker that he learned from Claude Harmon. Claude Harmon was thought to be one of the best bunker players and one of the best bunker instructors of all time. So many people try to teach bunker shots by having a really open stance and an outside to in cut stroke. And it's just really not necessary and it's not the most efficient way to get out of a bunker, especially if you don't have a ton of club head speed. So we're going to use a much square stance and a square club face with more of a, a full release than you're probably used to. And it really will help you get out of the bunker time and time again. So what I've done here is I, I put my foot in the bunker, so about a, and I made a footprint. And then I drew two lines. What I'm gonna try to do here is set up so that the back line here is about middle of my stance, and, and this front line should be kind of in line with my front foot here. I'm gonna get a little bit of my weight onto my left side, so about 60% of my weight forward, and I make sure that I have my hands back. So my, my hands are still aimed at the center of my body. The reason why it's so important to make sure that your hands are neutral or back when you hit a bunker shot is that's what exposes the bounce on a club. The worst thing you can do in a bunker is hit the sand with the front part of the club, the leading edge. We're all really lucky to be playing golf now where wedges have this back flange, the bounce of the club. And we are really going to try to hit the sand with the back part of the club. And that's what gets the club to come back out of the sand. If I hit the sand with the shaft leading forward, the club will just dig and take a very deep divot. Very hard to hit good bunker shots that way. So again, I'm gonna get into my setup, weight about 60% on my left side, ball slightly forward in my stance, maybe one or two balls forward of middle of my stance, hands neutral if not leaning back, wide stance, feeling low, and I'm going to take this club back, always making sure I get a good full backswing. Some of the things that can lead to death in a bunker are taking the club inside and a short backswing. So I'm going to make sure I take the club straight back with a nice full turn. And as I come through, I'm really going to release this club head, trying to take out essentially all of this sand here, taking out my footprint. Once I can consistently do that and take out that six inches of sand and control the low point of my swing, I'm ready to hit some shots. So 60% left, hands neutral, big back swing, and a nice full released finish. If you can see, I always controlled my entry point. All of those shots, my club entered right about at the line, and all of these shots, my club exited pretty much right at that line. So this is a great way to practice. I know you can't place your club in the sand or draw in the sand when you're hitting shots on the golf course, but when you're practicing, make sure you're practicing with a clear image of what you're trying to do and get a full release on the way through with a more square stance. Hopefully this can make it a little easier for you to hit bunker shots and get out every time. If you found this helpful, follow my blog, yourperfectgolfshot.com, or subscribe to my YouTube channel for some more tips.